Mmm, yummy. But here's the bus. No problem. Just put the ice cream in your backpack. Excuse me? In Japan, you can apparently buy non-melting ice cream. Quite handy. Simply get your ice cream back out again. Too good to be true? The city of Kanazawa in Japan, just under six hours drive from Tokyo. Here, you can find ice cream that allegedly doesn't melt. Something unheard of in Central Europe. YouTuber Tristan Janker, who lives in Japan, takes a closer look at the ice cream for us. When you bite it, it's very firm, but it melts in your mouth immediately. It also tastes very natural. I'd compare it to yogurt, maybe a frozen yogurt, but quite hard. But we aren't just here for the taste. Are you sure this ice cream won't melt? This is really crazy. I've eaten a lot of ice cream in my life, and normally the ice cream's been out for like five minutes and that's when it would start running down your hand. But here, there's not a drop running down your hand. Still in great shape, it's really amazing. This polar bear is doing really well so far. But for how long? And how exactly does it work? We asked the owner and inventor. Welcome to Kanazawa Ice Cream. And he has a very hot tip for us. The ice cream contains polyphenol from the strawberry. This is why the ice cream doesn't melt, even after more than an hour. Poly what? To understand this better, we are allowed to have a look at how it is produced. And employee Masanori wants to show us what this ice cream can do. Here I have a normal ice cream from the supermarket and this one we made from the same basic ingredients. Here's the normal ice cream and to the left is the Kanazawa ice cream. The time lapse shows it clearly. After half an hour, the regular ice cream on the right has completely melted. The Kanazawa one on the other hand is still going strong. How do they do that? The ice cream contains sugar and flavorings. There's this red liquid. Also cream and milk. Nothing unusual about that. But now Masanori comes around the corner with another red liquid. The Kanazawa anti-melting secret polyphenol. This is a natural substance that we extract from strawberries. There's nothing unhealthy about it. Polyphenols are found in strawberries as colorants and flavorings. And they are even said to be good for your health. They won't tell us exactly how they extracted from strawberries, but they will tell us about the rest of the production process. All ingredients, including polyphenol, are mixed and cooled down. Meanwhile, Masanori tells the story about their accidental discovery. We sold polyphenol as a food supplement to a bakery. They wanted to put it all in a cream mix. We found that the cream became much firmer and didn't break down. That's how we accidentally came up with the idea of ice cream. Of course, we were surprised by this discovery and very happy. And this is how it works. Here is an ordinary ice cream which consists of frozen water and fat from the cream. Heat causes the ice crystals of the frozen water to liquefy and separate from the fat parts. The ice cream melts. Now the polyphenol comes into play. The colouring from the strawberry slips in between the water and fat. When heat comes into play, the polyphenol forms a bridge between frozen water and fat. The ice cream remains stable. The final production step? The polyphenol ice cream mix is put into moulds and then into the freezer. After an hour in the shock freezer, the ice cream is ready. Here in the form of the popular Japanese figure, Kumamam. 
The ice cream is especially suitable for children, as they can eat it very slowly. The fact that it doesn't melt and drip all over your hand makes it an excellent product. Even after one hour, this Kumamon keeps the same shape. We want to see that for ourselves. Back at the ice cream parlor, the polar bear from the beginning is still waiting for us. After about half an hour on the plate, the little bear is beginning to look a bit worse for wear. YouTuber Tristan gives us his interim conclusion. So after half an hour, it's still very cold, but the consistency has already changed. It's not so biteable anymore. It tastes more like a firm yogurt, a cool yogurt. Still really nice though. That's enough. We want to break this polyphenol bear. It's been lying around here for about 50 minutes now and refuses to melt. That's why we need a hairdryer. Not for Tristan's hairdo, but to give the polar bear some hot air. Slowly but surely, the ice cream turns into a kind of stable pudding that still doesn't want to slip off the stick. The fact that it's still cool and still hasn't turned into liquid after all this blow drying is really fascinating. The Kanasawa ice cream, however, is not unmeltable, but it stays solid for much longer. This makes its inventor dream. Our dream may be so big that people will laugh at us. But with our Kanazawa ice cream, we want to become a huge Japanese brand in the ice cream business. Like the big ice cream producers of Hagen Das, for example. We want our ice cream parlors to be all over the world. And who knows? Maybe the almost unmeltable ice cream will be available here soon. At least then, fewer puddles of ice cream would have to be wiped away.